road again. Got the van loaded up. I don't think I'll have to sleep in it on this trip, but I'm bringing the summit just in case. Got the canvas cutter burrow, got the bow. We're headed to Total Archery Challenge. It's gonna be fun. I got some church clothes in here that I did not end up needing on my last trip. And now they're just floating, so I'll probably put those in the house. So this trip involves a lot of different things, including Total Archery Challenge, Glenwood Springs, Colorado, well, Sunlight Resort, something like that. Uh, I'm also gonna go get some apparel. I gotta pick it up at Eagle Eye and kinda show you guys some of the new stuff. Go to Eric's house, check out his giant target. I don't know, whatever else, whatever else. We're bouncing around today, but it's time to get going. Back on the road, back on the grind, back on the YouTube grind. That's what it's about. All right, so I'm sitting in the adventure van right here. Good old burnt sienna. I ran into Eagle Eye, they were closed, but they stayed after and they got me my stuff. So I didn't film anything there, but these guys, are what's popping. So these are uh, <laughs> some of the new foam hats that I got going on. I love the throwback, the old school camo on them. Um, they're kind of cool. They're also just kind of like funny. I got uh, these orange ones too, the old school orange. They got the one-sided buck on them. A little bit of side embroidery with the shed. Um, and then I got, what else, what else, what else? these ones the white ones with the buck on them i love these old foam hats man you just throw them on uh, and then i got these ones as well the embroidered gold shed crazy on them so these are going to be on the site by the time this video goes live they'll probably be up i'm going to try to have them live by the time this video goes up so i'll probably sell them for cheaper than normal because these hats cost me less so i don't want to be out here charging a premium like when we sell these Richardsons, like these hats, these hats cost me like freaking 10 bucks each. And then the lettering on them is additional to that. So then I got to sell them for like 25 bucks plus shipping. These hats are cheaper. They only cost me a few dollars plus the lettering. So like I really can pass the deal on to you guys. And I'll do that so you can get some cheaper hats. I'll probably sell these hats for like 15 bucks on the site. Um, so grab one. And then if you wreck it or sweat through it, it doesn't matter. It just is what it is. So see what i'm doing i'm bringing you guys value I'm, I'm a bargain shopper just like you anyways i got all these hats i'm gonna take them with me to this total archery challenge people can buy them there if they want this is just me chilling in the van this is my workplace it's a mess in here right now but a lot of times like when i need to work or when i'm on the road traveling i'll just pull over i'll leave it running i always just go to a church and find like a real shaded up spot crank the ac do some work then jump back in and keep driving. It's like my mobile home and office. So uh, people wonder why I drive a minivan. That's why it's so handy. I mean, the color, the finish, just something special. So Eric went and got, well, he didn't go and get, someone brought him the world's biggest target. Look at this thing. Like this target is, the back one's eight by eight. Got shot. But look at this big thing. Eight foot by eight foot. Pretty sweet. It's big. So we're gonna have a shoot off. Eric's been talking mad smack. He thinks that he's on my level when it comes to archery and just not probably realistic. He's got the Hoyt. Check this out. Oh, got a ring light. You need that to see your sight? I got on TikTok. Oh, dude. Yeah. Eric's a TikToker. I guess you gotta have him on TikTok, so I bought one tripod for the cell phone. Ah, oh, I see. We'll so we'll do a little bit of a shoot off. You guys, post in the comments below who you think is gonna make better shots. The first shot, we're like 28 yards here. We're doing a two group, a two arrow group on the deer in the most lethal. What's your prediction? Uh, so no practice, no warm up, two shots out of the quiver. Um, at the mule deer 28 yards like Ben said best two shots group in the kill zone wins All right, you guys can decide the winner. So we'll set up here Well mine's in the heart so yeah Folks, let the people decide here. Let's let the people decide. 
I'll take my worst shot at that thing so far. This is Shed Crazy. <laughs> this is world renowned elk hunter Eric Chester. What do you guys think? Dots. I'm gonna take the one on the right, you're gonna take any of those four on the left. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do a time thing where the first person to shoot three arrows in the white dot win. You get four arrows to start, so if you miss two, I guess you're disqualified. Yeah. So it's kind of a speed round plus accuracy round two. Uh, let's see how this goes. So close. This was my first arrow. Like, what the heck? Yeah, my, my group is there, but. Not oh, you're so enough. close on that bottom right. I know, look at that. Not quite. Nope. Let's do that one again, dude. Yeah. That was fun. That was too close. We tied, so we got to run it back. I win. I got three in that time. I took my time. Oh, this line touching. Oh, not, dude. Not a deep oh, you lucky. Oh. <laughs> What's up, folks? That's three. Oh, that's a tough drill, man. I actually really like that. Neither of those. You only got one in. It's the best day of my life. I was hoping that these two were touching. They're not. Ben Shed Crazy, the champion of the big old target. Dude, this is fun. No, gives so still, much target. It's not like we're getting crazy, but yeah, it gives you a lot of confidence, right? Yeah. So the deer is fun to shoot at, but the dots are really fun for like target shooting. Doing the forehead challenge here. Forehead challenge on the mule deer. Shot One to the shot, each. shot to the dome. I'm gonna go like literally bottom of the ears in between. All right, middle of the middle. Low right. Kind of faced him a little it's bit. Not fun guessing. You don't have a thirty pin. Wait, you have you have a thirty? That's thirty. It's close, but I'm still shooting high. Like, oh, I don't know if too fast. Like Twenty-seven, twenty-eight, right here. Yeah. I'm trying to make adjustments, but not not working out so good. Not bad, just not really good. Right, we're playing like inches, but all right. Forehead challenge. What do you have? Do you have a 20 pin? I have a slider that's 20 to 75, pretty much. Total focus. Right there, dude. Let's go check them out. So it's about dark and it's still probably 95 degrees at least. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot up here. Ben comes from Southern Utah where it's even more hot. Comes up here to get away from the heat, but not today. I would have liked to have been here. Yeah. I was trying to do, like I said, like below the ear, right in the dead center. I missed. My arms are getting a little... How about that, though, dude? That's pretty. Those wait, are... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. That's a great <laughs> group. A little bit too dark now. We're done. Um, but that was fun. That's uh, That target's pretty sweet. I need to get something like that for the backyard. Because my boys are always smashing arrows out of the little bowl. Couldn't miss. Yeah, pretty fun. We ate some good food. Had some Wagyu beef for dinner. Some carne asada, so been a money night so far it's always good to come up and hang out for a minute and tomorrow back on the road to total archery challenge i don't know if i showed you guys this i don't think i did i picked this up last week and then forgot to take it home with me it stayed in eric's truck for a little while but this is my kentucky buck that i killed last year the video is on on my youtube channel um this is a buck that we scouted had trail cameras of and uh, i shot him opening morning made just a horrible shot 
and he died immediately, so I guess it wasn't <laughs> too terrible of a shot. But my favorite thing about this deer, I love the way that he curves in and carries his mass on the end of his beams. But this right here on the back has that little extra kicker. This is the weirdest looking velvet too. Well, like, it's like it dried up and shrunk, huh? Yeah, but it was like that when I killed him, kind of. Like it had these white swirls in it and stuff. Really just kind of marbly. But still the only white tail buck I've ever killed. Yeah, he's cool, man. So, the day I decided to sleep in, well, opening day. Eric was gracious, and we decided, like, we all wanted to kill this deer. And Eric let me go sit the stand, and he showed up first sit. <laughs> short blood trail. He was, like, the most consistent buck on the trail cams um, at first. Yep. He's so cool, dude. He's going to look good on the wall. Finally, I put my coos in my one boy's room, and my other boy said he wants a deer for his room. Still maybe put him in there. Pretty cool. All right, folks, so I am obviously back home, but I'm just getting to editing these videos now. So that one uh, with our shoot from Eric was a great time. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I do need to thank some people who bought apparel. Orders have been pretty slow, uh, but that's just the way she goes sometimes. So I need to thank Cody Sheen and Ben Vanderbur. And I also need to thank all the people who bought apparel at the Total Archery Challenge in uh, Colorado. It was a great shoot. It was good to see so many out there. And thank you guys. And thanks to those who came and checked out the canvas cutters as well. Right now, our friends at Canvas Cutter do have a promotion going where if you buy anything from their store, you get entered to win a bow of your choice. They'll buy you any major brand bow that you want. Also, um, hats and shirts on that one get you a special deal. So get entered to win, go buy some canvas cutter swag. There's a link in the description of this video to them as well as all other videos. So thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you on the next one.